Hey, Reggie. Uh, I know the season didn't end the way that you wanted, but how proud are you of the fight that you and the team showed overcoming all this adversity and getting to the point that you did? I'm extremely proud of this team. You know, we, it sucks that it, uh, it's cut short. It's short of um, our ultimate goal this year of winning a championship. Uh, but couldn't be prouder. Couldn't be prouder, like you said, dealing with all the adversity, injuries, uh, everybody dealing with uh, health protocol, guys in and out the lineup. Um, it's not sure how everybody's feeling day to day. And with the way this season just been kind of pushed fast paced, um, I'm proud of the way we battle. Never complain. And this team just never made excuses. Continue to put in the work each and every day. And I think we got everything we deserve. Um, like I said, it sucks that it fell short, but uh, I haven't had too many better seasons. Um, been in a locker room with better groups. Um, this was a family. We, we really found a way quickly found a way to adjust guys who were coming in who were new. We found a way to throw a lash out the window for those who returned. And um, we came together. We came together and did something special this year. Like I said, it fell short of what we really wanted. But, uh, yeah, I couldn't be more proud of the group of guys that we had that locker room. Fred, you go to lock? Fred, yeah, I know this is the, the ending is tough. It's it's probably hard to kind of think about the whole year right now. This point, but... I mean, you've been in the league for 10 years. Like, what did this particular year mean to you um, in terms of, you know, just you personally um, getting back to where you think you were? Well, my 10th year is my best year. The most challenging year. The most fun year. Um, not sure when you play ups and downs, guys being injured. Uh, still finding my way in this locker room. First thing I told those guys is thank you for saving me. And I appreciate it. I appreciate every guy in that locker room. I appreciate Paul for getting on my phone last year. Uh, at the end of the season, when I was talking to a bio with Detroit. I'm thankful for everything I've experienced being here. Uh, this city making me feel home. This organization welcoming me. My, uh, my quirks, my strengths, my weaknesses. I'm not here today without this team. I'm not still playing without this team. So, uh, yeah, I, th I thank them. You know, forever be my heart. This will forever be a special year. Like I said, it sucks that we didn't win it, but uh, yeah, I ride with those guys. I, those guys rode with me all year, and I ride with those guys. And that's what makes this one tougher. Makes this one extremely tough. Um, the ones not not going to win. The ones uh, at the end of the season, not the ones hoisting the trophy. So no, I think that group. The group vitalized me. They found ways to push me each and every day, to challenge me, to ask me to be better, to encourage me to be better. Um, they were just friends. They, they, they became family. And uh, it's been a great band of brotherhood that we built here. It's, it's been an extremely special year under these extreme difficult circumstances that everybody's been under with the pandemic, with COVID. Uh, the last year and a half, the way this team's took me in, the way this core group is what I mean, the way that they allowed me to be myself, like I said, I, I'm forever thankful for every day that's this group. Thank you. Right. Reggie, um, you and Paul both talked about the dream to play together. Uh, you guys got to do it the last year and a half. You developed a bond with the floor fans, cheering Reggie, Reggie, as you leave. Just what was it like playing the last year with Paul? And I guess, is this a place you can see yourself, you know, returning? Um, one of my best friends been everything. One of my best friends has been everything on this court. It's made the highs much more high. It's made the lows even easier to deal with. Um, I know a guy truly in your corner each and every day, a guy that you don't relationship with for 10 years, someone that you trust, someone that you call family. Um, 
you know, you're never dealing with tough moments by yourself and you're never celebrating joyous moments by yourself. So it's been good to have that man in my corner for the last year and a half. I mean, for 10 years, but daily in the locker room, daily on the court, having Paul George in my corner. It's been special to me. It's, it's been special when it's made year 10 what it has been. And then you know, with this group, getting to know the Pat Babs, getting to be around with fun guy, Kawhi, uh, reuniting with Serge, welcoming Nico, being around Boogie, uh, Demarcus, whatever quirks guys thinks he has, being on Rondo, Luke, Yogi, I mean, can name everybody, Jay, it's, Miss people, Amir, Daniel. If I'm missing anybody, I'm sorry, but it's been a bunch of personalities coming together. Just a bunch of personalities coming together, getting to know each other, having one goal, locking in, focusing on each and every day, and uh, striving to be great. So that's been fun to be around a group of guys that you look each and every day. You know, the person beside you to your right, to your left, the guy across from you, the guy who has your six, you know that they want to be the best they can be, well, not only for themselves, but uh, for the team. And yeah, man, the city's been special to me. Uh, I can't predict the future. I have no idea what happens, but this city is the city, this organization, this fan base is that's special. It was a special place in my heart. Uh, God, I'll forever, I'll forever be a Clipper. <laughs> so, no, I'm thankful. I'm thankful for this opportunity. I'm thankful for everybody who's, who's been part of the journey, who's, who's supported. And uh, made this year special.